After the 23rd of September, and New Zealand First being government, there will be no such deal done. And so New Zealand First has absolutely opposed the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement from the start. The TPPA was never about fair trade, it was about international corporate rackets. The trade, international trade experts who stood and sat before the committee and said, do not sign. The numbers look terrible in terms of actual trade benefits. Because what is clear as daylight from a lot of independent economists is that the working people of this country will lose out. I, I think they genuinely believe that that 1% increase in GDP is a good thing. There's next to no trade in it. It will, in fact, be harmful to our future generations. This will not benefit New Zealanders. In fact, we'll lose jobs and the equity gap will continue to grow here. We can't sign a document that has ISDS in it. Designed to take away your sovereignty, it is something that we would do at our absolute peril. I actually wrote a very simple piece of legislation. All it said was our trade agreement shouldn't have ISDS. And in the main, that would have got rid of a lot of the really bad stuff. But it's still a really dumb, really bad trade agreement. Will this mean the end of the TPP as far as New Zealand is, is concerned? Well, we're in agreement to look at the uh, Investors Disputes Clause. This is a new deal. This is not the old TPP. Well, it's the old Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement rebranded. There's nothing progressive about it. This is not the same deal. So Basically, it's the same deal. So I am proud to be standing here. And there is virtually nothing that I can find that is a significant concession. Oh, is Labour misleading us about how good this is? Of course they are. They're spinning like crazy. And we've turned it around. There have been 22 changes. 22 items suspended. Suspended, not removed. Can we still get sued? Can this country get oh, us of But the deal does have some fish hooks. Yes, we still have an ISDS provision. That means investors and corporates from Singapore, Mexico and Japan can still sue the New Zealand government. It's a marvellous deal. Then it's not simply that they will sue us, but they will threaten to sue us. This is not the same deal. It's a massively improved deal. Drug companies could sue us. We could have water co bottling companies sue us. We could have measures on climate change being challenged. And we fixed it up. And I hope New Zealanders are forever grateful. You're